Good morning, everyone. This is day two of the vlog. Ferrying a 1938 Fairchild 24 back to Kentucky. Uh, Dow is inside the FBO, but we're here at Jet Aviation in uh, Bozeman, Montana. And I'm telling you, we're going to try to make it as far as we can today. We have some weather pushing from the northwest. Um, we're going to go a little bit higher today. Higher we go, the better the winds. Help us uh, go out to the east. But uh, you guys can see this is a beautiful plane. Uh, yesterday we went from Deer Park to Missoula to Bozeman. Uh, a lot of terrain there. We followed I-90. Um, we did go up to about 9,000 feet at one point just to go over one little pass that we seen. It was kind of cool. It had this big lake up on top of the mountain. But uh, the airplane's flying great. It's, uh, I'll talk about it a little bit during the day. Uh, we've been averaging, a, you know, it's indicating about 105, 10 miles an hour, but with the winds pushing us, we've been probably averaging 130 miles an hour over the ground, which is really good for this. We've been burning about 10 gallons an hour. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep it up. Dow, you ready for this journey? I am. All right, so here we go. Smoothly, it's the mixture. Yeah, the mixture at the beginning is a little stiff. All right, trim set for takeoff. Pressure looks good, temp's good, RPM's on fast. Looks good, only really, uh, 1800 now. So down flying, or uh, I-90 is just to our right, so we're staying close to I-90 here. Just took off of Bozeman about 10 minutes ago. Our ground speed, it just went up to 128 miles an hour. And we're being very blessed right now, because it's smooth air. So let's, uh, let's hope that it stays this way. We're trying to get to Sheridan. And then after that, we'll, we'll see where we're gonna go after that. Uh, we're gonna start doing some longer legs once we get out of the mountains and uh, have more options uh, just in case uh, something would happen. So 
Uh, hope you guys enjoying this. I know I am. Dallas doing a wonderful job. If we can start finding airports maybe less than 20, 25 knot gust, I'll, I'll start letting you try to land this bad boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. I just want to get it home. <laughs> yeah. Amen. I think it's a little quirky to land in my opinion. I need to fly it a little more and play with it. But uh, my travel air, my new standard, Beach 18s are easier to land than this one. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Got my work cut out for me. Oh, yeah. All right, we're about halfway, maybe ha almost halfway to uh, Sheridan. We just uh, changed our fuel over. Uh, you can only run uh, left or right tanks one at a time. So we were burning off the right tank, and at 40 minutes into the, the engine start, we switched the tanks to the left here. And what we do, you turn on the fuel tank. It's, it's like rocket science here. It's really difficult. So we turn this, this side on, and then we shut that side off. And uh, then Dow pulled out his book, and we wrote down the time so we can keep track. And what I've been trying to do is do like 30 to 45 minutes on the takeoff tank. And then once we get up, uh, like I said, 30 to 45 minutes, then we switch over and I'll burn an hour out of the opposite tank. And then uh, kind of do that on each and every flight. So later on, as we get going, we're going to do, uh, we're going to start uh, doing some longer legs, probably more like two hours, two hours and 30 minutes. So uh, what we'll do is uh, 45 minutes, an hour, okay, and we'll go back to probably a half an hour on this, and we'll be pretty much ready to land. So we'll monitor that, and we'll keep you updated. All right, we're just passed over Bighorn Canyon. Man, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That awesome. So they're Sheridan out in front of us, six miles out. We're going to overfly the field um, and see what uh, the wind sock looks like. Traffic, uh, Blue Fairchild, Bravo Whiskey Whiskey, we're five miles to the northwest inbound. We'll overfly the field, runway uh, 24, looking for left traffic, runway 24, sure. All right, well, thanks. Well, we just landed here in uh, Sheridan, Wyoming, and the Fairchild's fueled up. We just flew two hours, 16.3 uh, gallons of gas. Uh, we were pretty high, and I leaned it out, but, man, we're only burning a little bit of, like, eight to nine gallons an hour. A lot better fuel burn than what we predicted, so we're going to stretch out this next leg. Next leg's probably going to be Rapid City, but we're not sure. Set this clock. Okay, so Sheridan to Rapid City, right? No, we're going past Rapid City, but where are we going? I don't even know yet. 
<laughs> okay, so I Sheridan. Do. I don't know the name of it. We're starting up. We're firing up at 10. And we're, we're Papa on, Hotel Papa if we can. We're on the left tank. All right. Makes you rich. Makes you rich. Uh, mag's off. Master's on. Here we go. Go on the left mag. Clear prop. like a sewing machine. <laughs> Both mags, radio's on, and uh, that's it. right now local time we, uh, hopefully land in here in about two and a half three hours all right coming up slow with the power full power now we'll bring the tail up right rudder start pulling back on the stick there she goes climbing out I'm out about 75, 80 miles an hour. See blue skies out there to the south. That'll, yeah. be, that'll be welcome. Yeah. One thing Dal and I just seen on the radar, there's snow really just following us. So, uh, this is not a place we would want to be stuck for uh, for the day. Well, we'll be stuck for the day, but we wouldn't want to be sticking around here long, or we would get stuck for the day. All right, we'll make a left turn off out here. And sure to traffic. Blue Fair Trail, Charlie Foxtrot, Bravo. Whiskey, whiskey, departing a pattern. To the southeast, Sheridan.
it off. Master, I'm going to do this out. feet again we're going to make it uh, just north of Omaha Nebraska and we're burning like eight nine gallons of gas an hour so we're pretty happy with that uh, we're kind of cold up here this cabin heat is not working so well so here uh, I, I put my double layers on got my pants on top of my pants now actually has thermal underwear on he, he was smart about this but I'm running out of uh, underwear, and uh, we're ready to get home. So, blue skies, as you guys can see. Look at this. Missouri River up there. Missouri River, we're getting close. All right, we're here at Fort Madison, uh, Iowa, and we got to tie down the airplane, but there's nobody here. And uh, a couple guys just showed up to uh, get some fuel for uh, some five gallon tanks of fuel. They're gonna drive us into town to the hotel. Uh, boy, this is, this is all kinds of fun. No Uber, no Lyft, and no shuttle. So anyway, we'll get her all put away. Uh, this is uh, Clint. Clint? Yep. And Ryan, they drove us uh, to the hotel because there's no other way to get here. <laughs> and what was so crazy, we just pulled in, uh, found out there's no Uber, no Lyft, and they pulled into the airport to get some fuel. So thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Clint, thanks Ryan. Okay, so this is the end of day two, ferrying the 1938 Fairchild 24 from Spokane, Washington to Northern Kentucky. We're actually gonna take the aircraft to uh, Claremont County, which is um, just a little bit east of uh, Cincinnati. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted, Dow's exhausted. We're frozen because uh, we, we were up at 9,500 feet. It was really cold. Cabin heat was really bad. And um, so anyway, uh, we met some really cool, really nice people at the airport. We got lucky. They brought us to uh, the hotel here. Uh, they dropped us off. Dal and I just had dinner over at a Mexican restaurant right next to the hotel. And tomorrow, believe it or not, Clint, the guy that dropped us off, is going to come and pick us up and take us back to the airport. So, man, that is really like what's cool about all this. You meet people that are total strangers and they're just exceptionally nice. We got to know uh, about their family. We got to talk about ours. So um, doing something like this is really like a very special thing for uh, Dal and myself and for people that, that like to travel around and kind of barnstorm. So uh, in the day two, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm worn out and uh, we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.